Welcome back everybody, Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike and I got a review for you from Hero Tomorrow Comics. We're going to be talking about Bloom Number 2 by Ted Sakura and Butch Mappa. Um, Ted Sakura on a lot of the, the writing, all the art and uh, writing, and he does some of the colors and um, letters. It says symbols and colors and uh, layouts. And then Butch Mappa does layouts, pencils and inks, basically all the art. Um, directly following the, the first issue, we are following Regina, shown here, but in her Lilith, um, her alter ego as the, the villain. Basically, we are following Ramsey, and he is a comic creator. He is trying to come up with this uh, comic. Um, this takes place in Ohio, specifically, you know, Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, it is it is based around this Ohio verse that is out there with a uh, punchline and the vaude villains, and then you have Bloom that, that exists in the same universe. Also, Alma is in there too. Um, specifically in Bloom, though, we are following uh, Ramsey, and he is a comic book creator. I'm just going to show you, and right here. Um, Ted does an excellent job of catching the reader up from the, the last issue. Um, not, not really needed for me. I was pretty good to go, but he does a very good job of explaining what's going on also in the world and reminding people that it was like 1969, Woodstock's going on, you know, some of the, 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 the you know, performers like Santana and Country Joe McDonald, you know, some of the performers that were playing at the time. Um, so we are following Ramsey and he's a comic book creator and he's trying to come up with this comic book villain and he, he is focused on Lilith. Um, he has found Regina who is a kind of like a, um, I want to say like a, you know, she is, she doesn't consider herself a performer but she kind of is and she's doing this photo take with uh, Ramsey here to try and get the visualizations on his uh, villain. He has uh, already painted her up and uh, is ready to go. There, there um, a brief warning. There, it is a mature comic, and there, there is uh, some nudity in it. There's a couple pages. I will say the anatomy is uh, excellent. Uh, Butch, Butch Mappa, he did a really good job on, on the nude scenes. Um, it, it was very nice to see that they weren't like overly proportioned or. Um, but in the, the very last issue, we see that, that Ramsey and, um, and, and Lilith, uh, they kind of have a, a little romp in the, in, the, in the forest after they do some photo shoots. I couldn't show you that. I'm not going to do this uh, 18 older video. But, but uh, basically, um, they, they, they kind of go on after that and they're talking. And, and uh, she's wanting to get more, you know, she starts asking him about, like, as far as, like, you know, hey, did you get all the shots? And he's like, yeah, I took like three rolls of shots. And she's like, well, can we keep going? I want some shots for me, you know? And uh, she's like, she kind of explains that she's somehow feeling like more into the character and wants to explore more. Starts explaining that she has, she has a feeling that the character Lilith would be more connected to the forest. So she starts like beating like flowers and grass, as you can see here. Also in the scene, she picks up a bug. It was like one of the cooler scenes and it's this beetle. And um, she starts talking to the beetle and calling it a friend. You know, Ramsey's like, oh, what are you gonna do? Like, put that in your purse? And she's like, eh, maybe, you know. And um, she basically takes it and like right here, you can see, and she like puts it up to her eyes. She, t she tells it to keep an eye on Ramsey. And then she like, um, she puts it up to her eye and all of a sudden it becomes like the marking around her eye. It, it's to the point where like, it looked like it was a trick or something like that like she just moved the bug really quick but it wasn't like that because it even like kind of weirded Ramsey out like he was like how did you do that like well, what was that you know and I think we're kind of seeing more into the the there is like a magical sense to it that I mean because this is all based off his dreams that's how he came up with you know came out with the story about the uh, the the championship between all the animals and then the the creation of Lilith and all her markings and stuff so there is this like magical tie. I, th I just don't think Ramsey is aware of it. He hasn't put the connections together. We do show that, that he was supposed to be at this dinner party with his fiance, and uh, they're kind of like, I mean, he is MIA, he is late, and, and they're just kind of like, hey, where's Ramsey, you know, kind of thing. Um, they do go where like they go further into the forest, and he's following, you know, Lilith at this point, and. Um, 
she just keeps explaining that she just wants to explore more in the forest and she's getting more into it. They do run into the stranger right here. They'd like, you know, ask him if they know where they are and immediately she's kind of like pissed at the guy being there and then she, she wants him to go away. I mean, you can, you can see right here her facial expressions get very real, you know, very quickly and, and, and all that before then it was nothing but happy and joy. Um, she does kind of, she keeps telling him that she's going to meet him on the other side as she's continuing further. And they have come to a swamp and stuff like that. And, he, you know, he's kind of like perplexed at the, the meet me on the other side thing. And um, as you can see, it's, it's more so right here. But uh, basically, she's, you know, it's kind of like maybe a twofold metaphor type thing. Maybe this is her transition fully into the Lilith. And um, also, the, you know, to meet, meet her on the other side of the swamp type thing. He does follow. He has to, like, pack up all the equipment and stuff. Makes a big deal. But they're like, hey, wait up. You know, I got to pack all this stuff up, you know. And um, he does make it to the other side. And he, he has seen that she has added more additions to her costume, as we see right here. And we find out that it's a possum's tail that she has kind of, like, woven into her hair. Um, you know, he's like, where'd you get that? And, and she's like, oh, it was, it was freshly dead. And he's like, oh, that, you know, and he makes a comment about like, oh, I, you know, where, where'd you, you know, you just found some roadkill. And she was like, no, I, you know, I, I killed it kind of thing. Um, and she's kind of like laughing and giggling, you know, it made her, made her laugh, you know. And um, they kind of get more into the like, you know, like she starts asking him questions like, you know, like, hey, is this bothering you? You know, I thought you were into it. You know, you, you wanted to do this and that. And um, she's like, man, you know, you want me, you know, and stuff like that. And they kind of do this whole, like, getting closer. And as they do, she sticks that possum's tail in his mouth. And he, he's like, oh, girl, and slaps the hell out of her, you know. Starts calling her some names. And she kind of, like, goes all crazy and grabs, like, a stick and beats him in the head. You know, he, he's kind of gathering his thoughts and stuff. And she kind of goes like all super nuts where she's like, oh, I'll make it better. And she kind of licks the part, you know, the spot where she hit him. And, um, you know, she's kind of like, at first it seems like she's okay. And then she's like, I mean, it, it's very like, you know, like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. But it's back and forth where she's okay and then crazy and okay and then crazy. Um, it, she kind of mentions that her art is moving. That, that right here in this panel below that she kind of mentions that she's noticing that some of the markings are moving on their own um, and she is like moving further into the forest he kind of like at this point they're kind of like going back into the situation where they slept together and he and he's like man I think it was a mistake you know I'm supposed to be getting married we were just in the moment and it kind of just happened you know and like as he says it's like mistake like um she kind of like faints and and he's not sure like like he even even like well did you OD like were you on something kind of thing you know so he does pick her up and he starts like high trekking through the forest trying to make it out but it just seems like he's getting like extremely lost and and doesn't know where to go after like extremely running out of strength because it is hot and and they show a lot of it right here but um eventually he does put you know Regina down because at this time it probably would be Regina but he puts Regina down and he, you know and he tells her that he's gonna try and go get help and that he'll be back for him he goes into this whole like and it's like the first time we're in like his head and it's like all these thoughts that he's going through like what have I done he was like man you know what a joke um, if she finds out you know she'll never forgive me kind of thing you know because he's thinking about his, his his fiance or it might be his wife I, mean, I might have that part wrong but I think it was his fiance but like um and they just they, he kind of goes through all this stuff that I mean a normal person would go through I mean the crazy you know and incidents how Regina has been more into the Lilla thing and, and you know the whole fighting thing and but he is just, he kind of finally like backtracks and make it to, he makes it to where he left Regina. And of course, it's not Regina no more because she's over here like dancing. And um, basically it's like, uh, you, know, but, you know, this girl just like woke up and it's full on Lilith at this point. Um, to the point where she, she started, you know, she's talking to him and so she eventually kisses him. When she kisses him, it's almost like he has this like psychedelic trip. Um... I mean, right here, they show in two panels, of course, with the, the coloring right here, but right here, it's really like, 
you know, it's really tripped out where he's seeing like four or five different, you know, Regina's in front of him or whatever, and she's just like, "How are you? How 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 are you? You know, he's like, man, like, man, I, 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 you know, I, I might be getting a heat stroke or something. I don't know what's going on. And she's like, I think I changed my mind. You know, I, th I think uh, we kind of, I kind of want us to stay out here forever kind of thing. And um, so she might be using this magic to, like, confuse him or some, you know, it might be a part of, like, the, the markings or something and, and her transforming more into the Lilith. We are definitely seeing her go more into the, the villain mode here. Um, definitely with the, all the, you know, the, I mean, you're talking about one panel here, she's like, oh, this is kind of neat and cool. And, and the next panel is just like, rah, rah, you know, um, still an excellent read. Uh, I mean, Ted, Ted is an excellent writer, and I'm not just saying this. I mean, all, all the descriptions he put in there, I mean, just this one page, the ability to catch you up, I mean, that's phenomenal. Uh, even reading the, the editor notes was very nice, what people were thinking at the time and stuff like that. Um, I, I do like that he, he titled this The Page of Aquarius. It was one of his contests that he had going, and he picked, you know, a, a actual, you know, this guy named Stevie J. He picked his, um, his title or whatever, and, and I'm an Aquarius, so I kind of dug that. You know, maybe it has a deeper meaning for me. You know, maybe maybe I've been dreaming about Bloom or something, you know. Um, no, man, the, the art is phenomenal. Butch Mappa, he did a really good job, especially with the nudity A plus on that. Um, it's actually better. Some of the, you know, uh, I think I can only think of one other comic comparatively that, that it was kind of better in, in the anatomy part of it. Um, it. It wasn't like a whole, like, you know, but I mean, there's like a page and a half of it. It's not very much. Um, really, it's like I can count it for you. Three panels. It's like three panels. It's not that much. Um, but man, an outstanding book. I can't wait for issue number three. It is coming out in September. Um, I, and it does say issues three and four, so at least we have two more issues to go. Um, if you are interested in this, um, I, I know it might not be at your LCS. It might be hard to find, but you can go to herotomorrowcomics.com. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, herotomorrow.com, I'm sorry. But herotomorrow.com. Uh, he's got a Kickstarter going. I'm pretty sure you can get issues one and two. Um, but if not, you can reach out to me. I'm still, I, I can still get issues, uh, you know, one and two. You know, we work out something. Evil will hook you up because this is a, a book that is, is very, it's very good. Um, I already have the review up for issue number one. So if for some reason you're catching this one, go back and watch that one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how I'm doing, what you think. Did you read this book? What'd you think? How you think it's going? I don't know. Let me know. Evil out. Bye, guys.